Hey up peeps, Moobit here, and today's video we're going to show you how to get an Adobe Premiere Pro keyboard for less than £20, so stick around. <laughs> right. Old and busted. Hmm. In fact, I think this is about 15 years old. Okay. Let's do this properly. Wireless mechanical keyboard. 150 quid! Uh, okay, uh, oh, I might as well do this properly then. Keyboard for Adobe Premiere. 120 quid! Gotta be some other way of doing it. Gotta be some other think, 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 think. Custom sticker manufacturer. Nine pound. Okay. And same day delivery. Don't mind if I do. Sold. Now I've got to do is wait. No, 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 no. Okay, let's try this out then, shall we? Okay, so I've been using this uh, homemade makeshift Adobe keyboard here for uh, a couple of days now. And yeah, it has actually sped up my workflow quite a bit. Uh, things I might do better, uh, maybe another sticker company for example. I mean, um, it said on the description on this thing that uh, these were hard wearing vinyl stickers, you know, like the, the kind of stuff that we put on the side of the arcade machines I make in Eco Arcades. They're not, they're, they're just, they're not. They're paper at the end of the day, they're paper. Um, but, I mean, they're paper with like a plasticky kind of coating over them. So we'll see, we'll see in, in, in the longer term how long these things will last. Um, another thing that your mileage may vary, but as you may have seen on the epic B-roll of a keyboard. All right, I tried, I tried. I did put a couple of these stickers on a bit wonky. Um, I do have a condition that affects the very, very fine motor skills in my hands. So obviously your vibes may vary. If you're, if you are a badass at doing stickers, then uh, you know it'll probably work out all right for you. And the other negative, the other negative is, um, well, I got sent the American version for Mac. Um, I did definitely order the PC ones. I think I got sent the wrong one. But uh, so like the at and the uh, hashtag symbol of things are the wrong way around. So I've just written them on them in pen because I'm not, I'm not that bothered. It's only me that's seeing this, so I'm not I'm fussed about that. And the main thing is, it is a little harder to type. Because I'm no touch typist, and I think that's all it is. And again, that's your your minds may vary, um, but I find it a little bit harder to type because the the letters are quite small uh, on the top of the stickers. You've got a lot of information on there. Easy fix for that: get better at typing for a start. Or I mean, this keyboard here, 
um, was I think fourteen pounds um, in Ar in Argos, which is a high street store in the UK. They sell them for I think seventeen or eighteen pounds. So. All I'd need to do is get a second one of these. The receiver's in, in the editing PC back here. And it's the same receiver no matter what. So I could just have this, you know, on a, on a shelf underneath my desk and then just have just a normal one of these for typing. And then when I start using Premiere, I just swap the keyboards around and, you know, they're already connected. The battery lasts apparently for a year without, yeah, there's no on-off switch on this thing. But apparently the battery lasts for a year, so that should be all right. But on the positive side, yeah, I mean, the official Adobe one, I think, at the moment, at the time of this recording, is um, on sale and it's £95. That's for the wired version. I think the wireless version is somewhere around 120 And I did this whole thing for, well, even if we took into the Argos price, it still came at around £20. Um, the stickers were more expensive for me because I got same-day delivery and it, it literally came within six hours. But you could just get any old... I've got rid of it now, but you can get any old keyboard, order a sticker set for, um, if you get same delivery, same day delivery, order a sticker set for a tenner, stick it on any old USB keyboard and away you go, because the stickers are actually all the same size, you know, keyboard keys are, are the same size. The only things I had a problem with, being it to focus here, is the command key was, I think on a Mac is a bit bigger and I had to cut that to size and the space bar I think is a bit bigger so I, I just literally cut it across that's why it looks a bit bit shonky. But again I'm the only one that's looking at this so yeah and it sped up my workflow a lot so I would recommend this to anyone. I'll stick some uh, links in the description of where I got all this stuff. There are other companies, I'm not paid by any of these people, there are lots of companies that do this so you know might be worth a Google search to see if you can get it even cheaper than I did. I just basically went with the first one for the sake of this video, but yeah, check them out. Um, if you've got any questions, stick them in the comments below or on the Facebook comments or whatever, and I'll try and answer them all as best I can. And hopefully, this was a, an informative and helpful video for you all. Do you like these ones? I think I might do a bit like, like this a bit more often. I mean, if I can help sh spread the wealth, then so be it. That's what I say. Till next time, I've been Moobit. I'll see you in the next video. Ta-ra! I like to move it, move it, fit, fit.